Hey everybody, this is Rich and Dodge down along the river, Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. Today what we're going to do for you is a copycat of the grilled chicken sandwich of chicken filet. We was going to do the bacon club, but we don't have any bacon. So what we're going to do here is, like I said, is a copycat of the chicken filet grilled chicken sandwich. So hang with us and we'll go ahead and we'll get that stuff going. All right, so we took our chicken breasts and we, um, sorry about the earthquake, can we beat them all flat with our meat tenderizer here? Um, all about the same, we trimmed any kind of loose chicken. So right here, um, you know, the recipe calls for buttermilk, um, but we uh, don't have any buttermilk, and it's something that we don't usually buy. Um, so uh, vitamin D um, milk will be just fine. So we'll put these in this milk and leave them set for four hours in the refrigerator. Covered or uncovered is up to you. Basically, we're just going to get that milk in there. And we're just going to tenderize these chicken, chicken, chicken breast. We patted this stuff dry. And now we're going to season it with uh, the chicken filet seasoning. I'll leave this uh, recipe in the description box. So... Right, guys we got these things seasoned up we're gonna go ahead and put these in the refrigerator uh, or someplace cool while we get the grill fired up all right guys now we got our you know we had our chicken breast pounded out you saw we did that we soaked it in some in milk we got to soak it in milk so we're gonna leave it set in the refrigerator the recipe says third 30 minutes I'm gonna go four hours because I like my um, chicken nice and marinated with that milk uh, was out of the store and forgot buttermilk we forgot buttermilk while we was out. <laughs> yep. And we forgot buns, so we got to use what we got. So guys, we're gonna leave that chicken breast set in the um, in the in the milk for four hours. We'll get back to you when we season up with that secret seasoning Chicken Filet uses for that Chicken Filet Chicken Club. See you then. Hey guys, while we're waiting for this stove pipe back here behind me to warm up right here, we are using. We're not going to use the Weber kettle. I'm not gonna use the grill grates, which I want to. But however, sometime about a week ago, Mr. Dodge um, got purple at school, and we told him that um, he said if I get pur a purple or pink or one of the highest colors, he wanted a grill. So I got him a grill. I got him looks like I think it's Smoky Joe. It's a little little itty bitty thing. So you know I'll show it to you here when we get started. But he is just dying, dying to get these chicken breasts on. So, um, this is his very first cook. I'm teaching him how. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. But remember, it's that copycat of that chicken filet we're looking at. Mr. Dodge is dying to be a part of this. So, we'll see when we put them chicken breasts on. All right, folks, here is Dodge's little smoky Joe, and we're gonna put our chicken breast on it. So, here we go. All right, here's Mr. Dodge. Say hi, Mr. Dodge. Hi. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our chicken on right here. That smells good already. Here, buddy, you wanna put the last two on? All right, Mr. Dodge is, be careful, don't drop it. Just pick it up. There you go. I'll put it on, there you go, right there. Well, oh, gotta put it down on it. Just like that, okay? All right. Just pick it up. There 
we go. Put it right there. Just put it on the grate. There you go. All right, people. We're going to let these things go for about three minutes, and we'll flip them. All right, guys. It's time to flip these things. It's been three minutes. Go ahead and flip them, Mr. Dodge. Like this? Yeah, go ahead and flip them over. There you go. Point back a little bit. There you go. Sorry about the lighting, folks. A little dark. There you go. Push them back a little bit. Push them over here. There you go. I'll continue. All right. Mr. Dodge loves anything. This stuff is smelling phenomenal. There you go. Just pick them up and flip them over. Right. There you go. You stuck to the grate. There you go. There you go. Flip the other one. There you go. Pull it down on the coals. There you go. All right, folks. Three more minutes, and we'll see you inside. All right, guys. We got our chicken breast in here. And, man, does it smell like a chicken filet in here. There it is right there. Man, they smell phenomenal. So let's get building this sandwich. All right, guys. We're back. And here we're gonna build this sandwich. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take you know, chicken breast. I mean, look at that seasoning. Man, it smells so good in here. And what we're gonna put on top is good old, good old Hellman's real mayonnaise. Mr. Dodge is dying to take a bite, aren't you, sir? Yes. Yes. All right, there's a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay. And we're gonna use a little bit of this green leaf lettuce right there. And we're gonna use a slice of tomato. Right like that. We're gonna crown that bad boy. We don't have a brioche bun. But there it is right there, right there. So we're gonna cut this thing in half, like so. Whoa, where I like that. And we'll see if we're a taste test. All right, guys, taste test time. There you go, man. You got it? Yep. All right. Cheers. All right, let's get in. Max get that. Mm. Mm. Very good guys. So if you haven't tried this copycat recipe for the chicken filet grilled chicken sandwich. <laughs> so I'll leave the recipe in the description box of what we use for the seasonings. Hit show more. And I hope you like this, guys. We'll be doing a couple more copycat um, recipes throughout the winter. So, you sure you like that? Big success here at the house. So, guys, hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up for Mr. Dodge for his first being on first video. We'll get a cameo, cameo on, on the video. Cameo. There it is. Cameo. Cameo. Oh my my God. bad. Cameo. All right, guys. So share it. Like it. Share it. And share the world. And we do share the world. What do you tell them? Sorry, you can say with your mouth full. Nope. The best barbecue comes from the river. And we'll see you on the next one.